Liberty Phoenix is on the line in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Um, I had a topic, but there's not enough time in this last segment to cover it. Um, what I really wanted to call in about was the fact that I owe Chris Cantwell, sir, I owe you an apology. Oh, really? I'm interested to hear why you think you owe me an apology. Well, if we as voluntarists are to hold ourselves to a higher standard, um, then the hypocrisy within me requires that I apologize to you for um, damaging your property at Porkfest. I uh, tagged up a bunch of your posters, and for that <laughs> I do apologize. It was immoral of me. It was a uh, destruction of property, and it was not my stuff, and I Hang apologize. Hang on a sec. All right, so this deserves some further explanation. The Porcupine Freedom Festival is a yearly event put on by the Free State Project. It's a camping festival where lots of liberty-minded folk come to to enjoy themselves and the company of others and all kinds of other things. And uh, Chris Cantwell, you did not attend this year, and I, I found that unfortunate, but it was because you felt unwelcome, which is what the Free State Project made some sort of statement about how you were were unwelcome from pork fest that's right i don't Weren't think they allegedly shaking down cars looking for him i mean yes. he's yeah, pretty unwelcome were. well I, I, my argument was unwelcome doesn't say banned but yeah they were apparently shaking then down they cars. eventually threatened to call the police if i showed up was yeah what, what, what i ultimately got reported i thought that was unfortunate and we have talked i think it was probably what a year ago just over a year ago now that this uh, free state project dust up happened between you and the free state project board. yeah it happened just before i launched christophercantwell.com in september 1st of last year they didn't like something you wrote on uh, a website and they were upset about that my perspective on that here on the show was that they made a mistake that they shouldn't have ban shouldn't have kicked you out of the free state project and they shouldn't have banned you from pork fest my perspective uh, is that you are a um a world-class marketer and that you <laughs> wisely uh you know got them to turn them around and got all kinds of sort of liberty news from getting these folks to ban you so what happened as a result of this ban was you had a little bit of fun actually probably a lot of fun trolling pork fest this year uh, so some of your supporters at Porkfest posted some posters. Did you design it or did somebody else design the poster? I, I did design the poster. So it was it was brought to my attention that Porkfest security was like looking for me, right? And so people people started sending me text messages like, hey, are you here? Because I hear that Porkfest security is looking for you. And I'm like at my house. I was Keen, one of those people who well, sent that to you. You know, like a couple hundred miles away or something in my underwear watching Netflix. Like I have no <laughs> idea what he's talking about. And, and I kept on getting different reports from people about this. So yeah, what I ended up doing was I posted a meme to Facebook with my cartoon character and a wanted poster, like report sightings on VHF, whatever it was. Their their yeah, Pork we had Fest security radios. channels, and so uh, it got a lot of attention on Facebook when I posted the meme. So I ended up having like a hundred flyers printed up <laughs> with that poster and sent them up uh, to some supporters there. And I, you know, was I went around and I tagged up a bunch of them. Was um, it funny? What did you tag it, that, said, tag it, it with? It was. Uh, to the effect of not wanted for podcast, it was for drunk driving, and it's a low blow, and I apologize for that. It it, it was a, a low funny. blow, but your your uh, your apology is nonetheless accepted, of course, and I appreciate you reaching out to do that. And you know the thing with the Free State Project, you know they they've spun different stories. If they had actually banned me for drinking and driving, it would have made sense to do that after the actual drinking and driving incident happened in 2012, instead of having me back in 2013 when I did not have a drop to drink and was 60 days sober when I mm -hmm. showed up and had at the time all but given up alcohol then when they have another different political disagreement with me then they start trying to switch it around and say that it was because of drunk driving when they had very clearly stated that it was because of this article what they wanted to do was make me retract statements and so when i made them look like fools they decided to just go on full-on character assassination mode on me and say any nasty thing they could from drunk driving all the way up to he's a federal agent and now this is Ridiculous. Technically, well, I really think that the crux of the reason for my call is not only to apologize, but to also highlight the need for anyone who is going to label themselves as a voluntarist, as a libertarian, as an anarchist, as whatever individual you want to be as a porcupine to truly personalize the I, the sense of hypocrisy, which uh, I believe what is was hypocrisy? A, it's the second time you've used that term. I've never heard it's, it. Uh, it was a term that I uh, I noticed in Mr. Davy Barker's book, Authoritarian Sociopathy, where there was a study, and in the study, um, the they questioned these individuals about for them to relate, to remember a time where they felt that they had power, but they felt that that power was illegitimate, and they would 
uh, divulge into a state of hypocrisy as opposed to hypocrisy, where you don't hold yourself to the standards that you hold others to. Hypocrisy is the opposite of that, where you hold yourself to a higher standard than you hold everyone else to. And okay. I think that that's going to be what's required for a free society to flourish um, uh, globally, that is. And, uh, and I really wanted to highlight that need for everyone that is going to don the badge, the shiny badge of voluntarism or anarchism, that you have to get yourself in a mindset of hypocrisy. Hold yourself to a higher standard than you hold others. Do not lower yourself to the shady dealings mm. of statists. Yeah, I think there's a real temptation to lower yourself to the level of uh, many of the critics, and it's it's tempting, but I always recommend, hey, don't do that. Like, for instance, here are the Stop Free Keen folks. Uh, there's always a temptation to use their same tactics, and I try to I try to stay away from that personally. So you were apologizing to Chris out of the idea that you wanted to hold yourself to a higher standard. Yeah, I, I felt bad about it, um, because if I'm going to don that tag i should you know now technically let's bring this up yeah. as a property rights issue uh because it's my uh my perspective here is that if you're going to post pieces of paper wanted posters around a, a campsite couldn't you argue that that's abandoned property at that point that it's not being I would. really yeah so therefore i don't think that it was really graffiti or anything i mean like there that. was there was an incident previously and the funny thing is is that some people then accused me of littering for for <laughs> other people putting these flyers up right so they said i was violating the the property rights of rogers campground by posting these things around or the property rights of the free state project who had contracted with rogers whatever so people had accused me of littering for As doing though this. you were there doing right, it, right? and so what I, but at the same time, now we have a story, I believe, from the year prior that there was uh, some some uh, vendor at Porkfest which was like making noise at night, and so mm -hmm. people were discouraging people from uh, from using their uh, services or buying their food or whatever it was by putting up flyers, right? And then what I'm told is that the vendor actually said, "Hey, we'll give you a dollar off if you bring us yes. one of these flyers." That's brilliant. And so this, in my in my mind, anyway, and it's and it's an interesting uh, you know theor theoretical conversation, but in my mind, it's like, yeah, you put the thing up, look. Look, people are going to, you know, take they it do down right do. on it. You know, it's you're you're putting a piece of paper on a tree that you know doesn't theoretically belong to you. Am I littering by advertising? Well, uh, you know, other people advertise at Porkfest doing similar tactics, sure. and, and they're not accused of littering. You're they just, didn't do it on the same scale, and that's kind of one of the questions here. Uh, I think that if a post is a handbill is uh, tacked up, uh, this that's what this is: posting of bills. Um, uh, you know, a, a posted bill is up. It then becomes. A potential medium for art. It's the commons at that point. Yeah, and I don't think that uh, what you did would be bad or wrong or anything like that. I, I really don't. Uh, I mean, you know, you I, expressed I an opinion. I would consider that art, though, Mark. I there was a malicious intent behind it. Yeah, I mean, what what you, what you went to do was to say something nasty about somebody, and I mean that was obviously your intention, and it wasn't about. I, I saw exactly what you wrote when you when you said for drunk driving. I actually saw somebody post the picture, that. and I said, you know, this wasn't even like done well. He just sort of. Screwed Scribbled it on there over the bark of the tree, and it really looked terrible. <laughs> but you know, I, I get what you're doing. I'm not. I wouldn't have held it against you to begin with, but I appreciate you making the apology. Thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate Thanks, that. Man. Free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM.